Hi, hi, good evening. How are you today? Hi. Hello, teacher. Good night. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Hi, good evening. A ver. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, fine, fine. Fine, fine. Thank you. Excellent. Fine, fine. Great. <laughs> Nice, nice. Vamos a ver, I'm going to check attendance. Hmm. Tell me present, right, if you're here. Abner Adoni. Abner Adoni. I, I, I am here, teacher. Okay. Eh, Alexa Marcela. Alexa. Ana Luisa, Ana Luisa, Andrei, Angie Melissa, Angie Melissa, Adeli Isabel, Adeli, Erling Melquisedec. Irma Noemi. Present teacher. Y Carla Milena. Carla Carla. María Epifanía. María. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher, si me he llamado, soy María. María Epifanía. Yes, present teacher. Okay. Eh, Mauricio Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Hi. Eh. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nancy Katia. Good evening, I'm here teacher. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Silvia Evelyn. Present teacher. Ursula. Present teacher. William Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay, let's see. Somebody connected after I call you. No, nobody. Teacher, no sé si ya me mencionó. Carla Milena. Carla Milena. Vamos a ver, Carla. Carla, sí la mencioné, Carlita. Bueno, aquí le pongo present. Somebody else. Ok, gracias. 
A ver, Alexa, no here. Ana Luisa, André, Angie, Arely, Isabel. Present teacher. Arely. Sí. Okay. Erling. No Erling. Okay. Bueno, tell me, how are you today? Hmm? How are you? How was your day? Que no sé si escucho mi presente. Soy Angie. Angie. Okay, Angie. Okay. Nice. Bueno, let's begin. Nice to see you again. Check, check. Unbelievable. This is. Uy, miren, yo en qué estaba pensando. <laughs> ya vieron la fecha. <laughs> Ay. Pero qué barbaridad. Teacher, ¿en qué estoy pensando? Eh? Adelantémonos cuántos días, patrón. <ríe> Ay, es June the first. Ahí está. Ok. June the first. Ok. Well, this is our session number four. And today we're going to talk about the future. Uh, we're going to talk about the future and predictions and many things that you can express when using going to, because that's the structure uh, that we are going to use. Be going to. And the objective, participants will be able to use the be going to in context in a conversation in groups in which some products are being shipped to their home places. Okay, so we're going to be talking about shipping, we're going to be talking about delivering. And at the end, uh, of course, the future and delivering and shipping, you're going to put all together to make your conversation, right? When delivering or shipping a product to your home. Well, first thing, remember yesterday we were using can, right? And we were using can to express, uh, well, to ask for information, to talk about possibility, and also we were using a can to talk about ability. Do you remember when you were saying that uh, what the animals can do or what people can, okay? What you're going to do right now is put the words in order to make questions using can. Mm -hmm. Make questions using can. Go ahead. Go ahead. When you finish, you let me know. <coughs> Thank you. 
Teacher. Hola. I can find the number of fish that the that exercise. It's not in the manual. Oh no, it's not in the manual. Okay. Hmm. Remember that this is a review of yesterday's class. Here. What you're going to do here is put the sentences into the correct order. But I'm going to change the color for you to see better. Uh -huh. Sorry. Much better, right? Remember, questions, no sentences, right? You put in the words in order to make questions. Um, chicken oh. mm -hmm. chicken play is the trumpet she can play a question as a question. Can she, can she play the trumpet? Uh huh. Can she play the trumpet? And she, well, I'm going to, I'm going to move the right. And, and she played the trumpet, right? That's how you're moving. And remember that at the end, okay. At the end, remember to use the question mark, right? Okay, can she and capital letter, very important. Capital letter, can she play the trumpet? What about number two? Number two? Can they write emails? Okay, can they? They can write emails. Can they write emails? Uh -huh. Ah, que chistosa. This is the one I have to move to the end. Okay. Can they write emails? Yes or no? What do you think? Again, question mark and capital letter at the beginning. Remember in the platform, if when you write the equation, you don't write it with capital letter, it will give you an error, right? Uh, what about number three? Right. 
What about this okay. one? Okay, I am going to be. I can I. Um, TV. Can I watch TV? Can I watch TV again? Happy the letter. Uh huh. Number four. What about number four? Can, can the cat climb the tree? Ah, uh -huh. can the cat remove the can to the beginning? Mm -hmm. Can the cat climb the tree? And the question. What about number five? Mm -hmm. Number five. What do you have in number five? Mm -hmm. Can your brother draw picture? Can your brother your brother draw pictures? Yes. Close the window. Okay, mm -hmm. and the question mark, right? We have to add the question mark. What about number six? And number six? Can the parrot talk? Mm -hmm. Can the parrot Can the parrot talk? Yes, it can. Oh no, mine cannot talk. Okay, uh huh. Number seven. What about number seven? Mm -hmm. What did you write there? Teacher, can, can you welcome? Can you welcome? Can you come? Come. You don't when can you come? Ah, yes, so very good. When? Okay. When can you come? Remember, come. Come. When can you come? Hmm? When can you come? Again, capital letter, right? Uh huh. What about number eight? What can we do? What can we do? Yes. What can we do? Number nine. <coughs> what about number nine? Where? 
Where can our friends have a lunch? Uh -huh. Have lunch? Yes. Where can our friends have lunch? Mm -hmm. Where can our friends have lunch? Very good. And the last one. What about the last one? Mm -hmm. What do you have in the last one? How can your sister? How can your sister sing so fast? Singing so fast. Mm -hmm. How can your sister sing? Mm -hmm. How can your sister sing so fast? Okay. Any questions here? Yes or no? No questions? No teacher. Right. That's reviewing previous class, right? Yesterday, with the use of can and can't. Nice, nice, nice. Well. We're moving, right? Today, remember I told you today, uh, we're going to be talking about future. Well, we're going to be talking about going to, be going to, and of course, all the uses that we have for going to. In positive, we say, mm, I'm going to give, I'm going to give you the information. I'm going to give you the information. The airline is going to transport the shipping. The airline is going to transport the shipping. Your packages are going to arrive tomorrow. Where is the package going to arrive? Where is the package going to arrive? Who's going to deliver it? Who? Who's going to deliver the package? So you see, we're talking about going to for future. What is deliver? Hmm? Deliver. What does it mean, deliver? Who knows? Entrega. Mm -hmm. A ver, let's make a list of delivery services that you have, that you use, right? What delivery services, before we continue here, what delivery services do you know and do you use? Later on, we will be using this information. A ver. Uh -huh. Delivery service. What delivery service? Fast food. Huh? Fast food. Fast food. Okay. Yes. Okay. Remember, fast food is what we usually order, right? When we ask for delivery. What is delivery? What's delivery? When you Hugo. get somebody else to take things to your house. Hugo. In fast food, for example, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut has delivery. Mm -hmm. yes. Tell me. But Hugo doesn't exist anymore. Or oh, it's still functioning in, in, in the areas. No. No more? Mm -hmm. No more. Huh? Okay. 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 Okay.
Another one? Another? Servicio de entrega. Okay. That's the name? You have Uber Eats? Yes. Another? Another DHL. delivery system? Hmm? DHL. DH. D. Delta. DHL. Uh -huh. What else? Remember that depending on what you want to be delivered to your house, that's what you ask for, right? Aha. Uh -huh. What else? What else? What else? Mm -hmm. What else do you have there? I think nowadays. Uh, Repeat the name. Companies uh, send mobile. Send delivery. The package to the customer. Okay. Mobile. That's the name. Spell it. Can you spell the name that you told me? Can you mobile? How do you spell it? How do you write it? Okay, well, we're going to stay up to here. Then. So we have Hugo that already disappeared, right? A pizza delivery and some other uh, restaurants and fast food that have delivery. You have Pedido Cha. El Hugo Mandadito still exists or disappeared with Hugo? Hmm? I think disappeared. It disappeared too, like Hugo. Okay. And then we have, well, pizza delivery, eh, de pedido ya, servicio de entrega, Uber Eats and DHL. Probably there are some others that are like close to some areas, right? Only, not in all the country. But basically that. Now, check. When we ask for delivery, we need to check many things. And if you notice, eh, they bring a lot of information, right? Look at the information here. This is a, a level that, that they have when they deliver something. So you have from Travers Inc. 23, Glen Way, San Carlos, California, 0570, made in the US. Two literal roll number 34, La Unión, Salvador. And then we have here uh, the number, right? We have two numbers. And you see this number that you have here is the tracking number. What is the tracking number? The tracking number is the one that tells you well, identifies your product. And you can perfectly ask, you can call the company that is bringing your delivery. And with that number, they can tell you where your product is, right? So they can tell you, ah, okay, Maria, your product is arriving to Guatemala right now. Ah, uh, your product has already arrived to El Salvador. They're supposing that they, that you are bringing something from another country, right? So if you order, for example, in AliExpress or any other page that delivers things from China or from other countries, Amazon, for example, eBay, you will need this information. And the purpose of this information or this label is to let you know the, the quantity of 
product that you have to receive. Um, who is sending the product? Because sometimes the one that is delivering, a, for example, if you bring something from China, right? And you buy it in AliExpress, you have Kainao and you have Ali that has its own delivery service. But you have to know the name of the store, This the sender will be like the name or, or the number that identifies, a code you can say, that identifies the store that is sending your product, right? So who is sending your product? You put it there. The track number that will help you know exactly uh, where your product is. That's why the name tracking, right? To, to follow your product, even when it is far away with that number, you can perfectly know where your product is, right? What does it mean? Let's see. What is this MFG? What comes to your mind? Mm -hmm. What comes to your mind when you see when you see that uh, that word NFG? What is MFG? Who can tell me? Fabricante. Manufacturer. Okay. To be the manufacturer date. When was it done? When was it made or created? Right. What about the other one? Net wave. What is it? Net wave. Peso neto. Huh? The wave. Right? The weight, que tanto pesa, how many pounds does it weigh? You need to know that. Okay? But, um, what else do we have? Well, basically, that's the information, right? That is uh, telling you where your product is, how many units. Uh, this is like the the... The shipment is el envío. What number is that? Right, everything is there. So what you're going to do now with this information is answer these questions. So look at the shipping label again in the previous page and answer the questions, right? What is the shipping address? What is the mailing address? How many units are in the package and what is the manufacturing date? Okay. Go ahead. The shipping address and the mailing address. What's the difference? The shipping is the one that is sending the product and the mailing address is the one that is receiving. So that's your address, right? So if you're bringing something from China, the shipping address will be from China. And the mailing address will be yours, where you are receiving the product. Would you repeat uh, the difference between shipping and mailing addresses? 
The shipping address is the address of the ones that are sending the product. And the mailing address is the address of the one that is with the product. It's like shipping like from? Uh, for example, who is sending the product? Travers E. And who is receiving the product? Neutral Rock. Exactly, that's Pero what you're going to put. Thank you. Thank you. Then check the units and the manufacturing date. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, tell me, what's the shipping address? Hmm? What's the shipping address? Uh -huh. Uh, the shipping address is Travers in 23, Landley, San Carlos, California, 0570. Uh huh, uh huh. The one of the United States, right? Exactly. This one, right? The shipping address is Glenway, San Carlos, California, 0570. What's the mailing address? Mm -hmm. The mailing address is literal road mm -hmm. number 34. La Unión El Salvador. Right, El Salvador. Yes. How many units are there in the package? <laughs> 
units. Hmm? How many units are there in the package? That's there easy. Are <laughs> there are five units in the package. Exactly, there are 65 units in the package. Then, thank you, Ursula. And the last one, what is the manufacturing date? What's the manufacturing date? Mm -hmm. What's the manufacturing date? Where it says MFG, that's the manufacturing date. Uh huh. What's the uh, manufacturing date? So we of April. Um, there is. Mm -hmm. The the one the manufacturing day is April twelve, two thousand fourteen. Uh huh. December fourth, two thousand thirteen. Okay. Any questions? Question? No question. Well, the next activity, as you saw the, the label, how it goes, you are going to work in groups and you will create a label, a chipping label. Yeah? You will create a chipping label and a mini conversation, right? Asking about the information that you have in the chipping label. Okay? Ready, ready? What are you going to do? Create a chipping label following this example. And then you, create, you make a mini conversation, including these questions. Okay? Like if you call uh, the manager, right? And you want to see where your product is and the, the other person or the agent, no manager, right? The agent will ask you questions to find out where your product is. Any questions? Hello? Question? No? Ready, you know what to do? Asumo que sí. Can I assume that you understand? Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. I'm going to send you to the rooms. Remember, create your mini la your label and your mini conversation, right? Asking about the product. Go ahead, join, join. Assume to join. Uh, 
try to join Alexa, Irma, Erling, Carla. Hi, hi. Teacher, a mí me mandó a las cuatro ahorita. Sé que la acabo de mandar porque vi que no se logró ir, María. Lo voy a mover de grupo a ver si, si se logra muy bien. Oscar Humberto, ¿será que está por allí? Marta, Marta. Check if now you can see it. Arely. Arely, otra vez, oyente, ¿qué pasó? Hola. Vamos a ver, Oscar, Oscar, can you see the invitation? Bueno. Yes. From Say Travers Inc. Eh, me imagino que ese de Travers Inc. es el nombre de la empresa, ¿verdad? Pero Correcto. Sí. Sí. En este caso, ¿cómo le pondríamos? <risa> eh, podemos inventar uno. Ajá. Ok. Okay. Eh, podría ser from idea viajes seguros ¿Eh? ok un nombre, un nombre fácil <risas> viajes seguros viajes seguros es fácil Ajá, viaje seguro. From viaje okay. seguro. O viajar seguro es fácil. <coughs> Such travel is easy. Abajo de from, en este caso sería, bueno, from viajes seguros y abajo la dirección, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá, in... um, Santa Tecla, le podemos poner. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Seguros, eh, güey, me. Y donde dice, <coughs> vaya, en este caso, eh, le vamos a poner made in the S. ¿A dónde? Ah, ahorita le puso la dirección, papá. Uh -huh. Sí, correcto, así sería. Main in 10, porque es el okay. salvador. Uh -huh. Main is. Ok. Podemos ponerle al más largo, como a Juan Miguel. No me puedo los municipios. Sí, el primero es a donde usted... Va a dejar... De donde lo envío. Ajá, de donde lo envía usted. Y el segundo es hacia dónde va. Para hacia dónde va. Correcto. Uh -huh. donde, donde dice tú es hacia dónde va. Es el va. nombre de la empresa donde lo va a mandar usted. 
Ah, ok. Correcto. Eh, ¿Cómo voy a hacer San Miguel? La la Hola, perdón. Tú es la dirección. No, 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 lo, 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 están lo están enviando de Travel de California hacia la Unión El Salvador. Al que es no, Little Rock. Pero ahí más o menos que especifica como la dirección, Little Rock. Ajá, porque no hace mención de otro nombre, dice. Eh, tú, solo Little Rock. Solo la dirección sale. No el nombre de la empresa, no. No, mm -hmm. solo la dirección sale donde lo envía. Ok, entonces en este caso podemos Pero poner... Pero no podemos el... inventar una. Ajá. Ajá. Quiero ver, para algún municipio que se pueda. Eh, oh, sí, de, podría ser de Santa Tecla. Eh, uh -huh. Un lugar que sea de, de un departamento... La Paz, podríamos poner. Mm. O sea, de, de, del mismo El Salvador, pues, ¿verdad? Ajá. Porque aquí ella lo, ella lo ha hecho de, 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 de California hacia El Salvador. De, de un Así país a otro. Ajá. Ajá. Y este nosotros lo podemos... En país. En un país es lo que podemos cambiar departamento. En este caso, Santa ah. Tecla, que es Departamento de la Libertad, puede uh -huh. ser para el Departamento de la Paz. Ok, Pienso, no podemos meter en la calle. Ajá, sí nos podemos inventar una calle, correcto. Vamos a ver. Avenida. <ríe> Avenida sí. número 30, le voy a poner. Avenida. La Paz. La Paz, El Salvador. Ajá. De ahí esos numeritos que están a la par, el 0012, 013... Ese es el número de guía, digamos, un número de, de, de un número de guía que le dan para que usted rastree el envío, dónde está, eh, cuánto tiempo tiene que esperar para que llegue a sus manos. Ok. Lo, Entonces, lo podemos inventar. Uh -huh. bueno, uh -huh. Podemos poner... Espérame. Que sea más corto, no, no, no importa, pero... tracking number. Ay, ese, ese número, tracking number es el mismo, verdad? Es el, el, sí, número, el, de número, de el número de seguimiento. Uh -huh. Un número de seguimiento, como le queramos llamar. Póngale eh, 2115. Y uh, de fecha de facturación, igual creo que puede ponerle la fecha de ahora. No será es el cuál como el código de área ese no, bueno un número de teléfono tal vez verdad ah, no, 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 ajá porque no no tiene mayor información uh -huh. Bye. bueno pongámosle aquí un número cualquier Ahí, ese dejémosle. Y aquí el, el number tracking. Tracking number. Vale. Y aquí. Ajá, viene otro número. Ah, la cantidad de unidades. One to two. Achievement. 
Ay, ¿por qué me lo pone así? Sí, me lo ponía pequeñita. Ah, ¿qué? Lo que hace falta es ese número. Es el mismo número que está ahí arriba. Ah, vaya, gracias. Ajá. Y aquí va el, el MFG de el FG de Day y pongámosle la fecha de hoy. Y el peso neto que sería Gateway. Gateway. 350 libras. Pero ese que no sería pounds. El leve es de libre en español, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, pero ya estamos hablando. O oh, eso sí, que yo recuerdo que Pons es de Libras. No sé. Porque es en inglés. Ajá, Pons. Pons es, ¿verdad? Bueno, uh -huh. no. Y ya. Aquí vamos a cambiar el color y luego hacemos las preguntitas. Pero aquí está me está haciendo estorbo aquí. Bien, teacher. Amy. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Vaya, solo sí. remember, remember that in this part where you have put 0, 0, 0, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, ahí hay dos números, ¿verdad? Okay. Why the first number yes. that you have there is the same tracking number. Mm -hmm. Es el de... Ah, ya, ya. Ok. ¿Y el, y el otro? ¿De otra? El otro, I imagine that is a number of the city or something like that. Ok. De acuerdo. Ya lo vamos a cambiar. No hay forma ninguno. Ups. El color de la letra. Espera que venga. El contorno, ninguno. Vale, aquí hay dos números. Ah, ok, ya, el tracking y el teléfono. Ok, 
Okay, bye. Ahora vamos a crear la conversación. Ok. Aquí lo vamos a hacer. Y vamos a llegar a la Este. Vale. Entonces, digamos que vos es la que quiere hacer el envío. Entonces okay. vamos a... Eh, vamos a ¿Cuál es la dirección del envío de eso? Ajá, sí. Va, eh, digamos que, bueno, como es la conversación, eh, sería, por ejemplo... Then you can click your shipping label. No, not yet. But I remember that you have to do the conversation and we won't stay in that all the class. Hurry up. Right? Running, running. Okay. Use the model. The mailing address is here. Mm -hmm. You can share okay. screen and and write the shipping address in the in the in a word document. That would be easier for you. Okay. Okay. Eight and four. ¿Cuánto, cuánto le pusieron de peso hoy? Cien libras. Cien libras. Cien okay. libras. Sí. Cien pounds. Um, empezamos la conversación. Hello. Sí, empecemos. Si les parece, no voy a hacer que nos toque pasar. Ok. En MFG le dejaron la fecha de ahora, ¿verdad? Yeah, sí. Okay. Okay. Este, este, la de ahora sería, eh, vaya, para comenzar la conversación, eh, primero el saludo, good morning, miss, good morning, miss. Después de eso podríamos decir de que necesitamos unos datos para completar el envío de los paquetes. Este, <coughs> quiero ver, seguiría la otra persona, ¿verdad? Correcto. Quiero ver, podría ser, I need, eh, some, 
I need your documents. I need... Lo, yo necesito los documentos para completar el envío. O, o podría hacer... Ser, dates, ser, o podría hacer... Dates, sus okay. datos, your dates. Podría ser también... Este, good morning. Uh, I need to send a package or I need to send a document for... Yes, for yes. Un company and, and, and después que otra pre pregunte, deme su dirección, dónde va a ser el envío, y vamos a decir a dónde lo okay. vamos a enviar. Excelente. Ok. Digamos, si nos ya yo le doy el saludo y le digo, eh, good evening o good afternoon, I need to send some documents for. ¿A dónde le pusimos uh, la paz, verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces. La paz. Uh, I need to send some documents for to La Paz. And, and yeah. then, uh, the post dice, uh, deme la dirección. Eh, de ahí usted hace como que me va a dar un número de guía, un número de seguimiento. Y igual le voy a preguntar el, el cuánto cuesta el, el envío, ¿eh? how much is the price for the uh, uh, how much I the package. Okay. Ajá. Okay. Dice no, cuántas unidades bien. van a mandar. Ajá. Ok. How many units are the package? 21. Unity. Sí, yo... ¿Cuál sería? ¿Cuál es el manufacturer day? Ajá. Uh -huh. 150. ¿Les parece o no? Ajá, uh -huh. 150. 100 había dicho. Pero... Sí, está okay. bien. Ok, o oh, 100. En... 150 también. Go ahead, practice. Hello. Go ahead. No hace falta el el precio que yo les dije y de ahí cuando ella me dijo. ¿Pero no está precio? Ah, no, es que ahí no sale, pero no. Nosotros lo agregaríamos. <risa> ah, ok, excelente. Sería, how much? Ajá. The unit. Ajá. Hi, hi, are you ready? Yes, yes, Angie. Ready, 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 ready. Anybody here? Yes, I am ready, teacher. With the conversation too? Yes. yes. Hola. Angie? Yes. yes. The conversation is uh, talking about the... Uh... About the label. Sí, de la idea. Ajá. A ver. Ah, bueno, eso pues. Let's go. Sí.
for me. Twenty seven seconds. Okay, we are all back. Who will be my first volunteers? Group number one. Alexa, 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 Alexa. Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's begin. You can share the level, the level that you did. Oh, really? O lo hicieron en el notebook. Yes, anotamos cada quien en su notebook. Ah, bye. Go ahead. Aquí lo tengo yo, pero no sé. Aquí, pero no. O sea, lo hice. Ah, ok. <laughs> Vaya, go ahead with the conversation then. Okay. okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. How can I help you? Uh, I want uh, I want to ask uh, for my package. Okay. Uh, what is the trucking number? Uh, the trucking number is uh, zero zero uh, five four eight three. Thank you. And what is the shipping address? Uh, the shipping address Santa Tecla La Libertad, uh, uh, made in El Salvador. Thank you. And how many units are in the bus? Two units. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And let me see, uh, your package is going to be arrived around June 15. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Excellent. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bravo. you very much. <laughs> very good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have two more volunteers? Ursula choose one, two, or oh no, I have a volunteer. Okay, Nancy. Nancy or Katia. Um como sea. Okay. <laughs> Los dos está bien. Nancy okay. or Katia. Sí, no okay. problem. Um Ana Luisa, I need your help, please. Ana Luisa. Okay. Hello. Ay, voy a voy yes. a pro, pro, voy a compartir pantalla. Okay, sure. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. One moment, please. Um, bye. Okay. okay. Bye, esta es nuestra shipping card. Okay. Um, okay. um, our conversation is this. Okay. Good morning. I want to send a bike to a server. Good morning. Yes, sure. I need you to provide me information, please. Yes, you're welcome. What is the shipping address? The address is one thousand seven Elomita Avenue up my apartment no sé cómo. Apartment. Apartment eh, 20, 
Glendale, California. Uh, you can divide it in two, 91, 205. Okay. 91. 91. 205. 205. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What is the mailing address? The mailing address is Pan America Road. Y no sé cómo se dice kilum. Kilometer, uh, kilometer 25. Kilometer. Kilometer 25. La Paz, El Salvador. But if you are giving an address from El Salvador, you don't need to translate it. You can say it in Spanish. Okay. How many units are in the package? There are 300 units. What is the manufacturing date? Uh, why? One, uh, June. June 1st. Uh, pardon? June 1st. June 1st. Yeah, I don't Let's see, Anna. Nancy, you are number K. Okay, you were the group number three. Ah, pues, vámonos al group number two. Angie, Arely, Irma, Oscar, y Abner, y Andrew. Me imagino que los que estaban allí eran Angie e Irma, ¿verdad? Working. Era otra compañera, pero no me fijan. Éramos tres. Y Arely también. Los niños no están, ¿verdad? Va. Ok, Angie, Arely and Irma. Go ahead. Ok. Ah... Uh... Hello. Arely, yo tengo una curiosidad con usted. ¿Sí? ¿Por qué se me pone oyente siempre? ¿Cómo? ¿Por qué se pone oyente? Es que siempre la escucho, pero en ocasiones... Tengo mi familia y hace mucho ruido y yo siempre estoy pendiente también de la clase, es por eso, para no interrumpir mucho. Ah, ok, ok, pero sí pueden uh -huh. contar con que usted está, ¿verdad? Sí, siempre pueden contar conmigo, ajá, ah, yo perfecto. los escucho, todo. ajá, es por eso, yo mejor prefiero solo escucharlos y ah, ponemos a tener una clase. Sí, le pregunto porque es la gente que veo ahí que está oyente, generalmente no oyen ¿verdad? <ríe> pues sí, porque oyente es que yo estoy oyendo pero, pero generalmente el que se pone oyente quiere decir no estoy dicho solo estoy conectado pero no me pregunte ni cuente conmigo Silvia Evelyn también se me pone oyente ¿por qué Silvita? si usted siempre está activa Fíjese que justamente ayer y ahora lo he activado de esa manera porque estoy todavía eh, eh, haciendo algo de la oficina, entonces no puedo participar como que mucho por eso. Ah, vale. Pero sí estoy escuchando. Ah, usted sí está oyendo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, ok. Entonces, okay. ¿quién más se me pone oyente? Que está, 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 está. Ustedes dos y Erlín. Erlín, Erlín. ¿Cómo está? Bueno, bueno, básicamente ustedes dos. Bueno, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Uh, Arely, voy a empezar yo, yo Arely. 
Who begins? Arely begins or Sylvia? O Angie. Sylvia no, Irma, es verdad. Estoy metiendo a Silvia. Silvia es del otro grupo. No sé si me respondería Arely o Irma. Lo haré yo, lo intentaré. Va, ok, go ahead. That's the idea. I would like to ask about my package. Um, I need you for information. Sería la dirección. From Angel Contreras, Mary, Spain, 2321. Okay, um, thank you. Uh, what is the weight of my package? Uh, Forty unit. units. For unit. Unit. Yeah, that's for units. Okay. Um, and the way that she wants to know about the pounds, how many pounds? How many pounds is the package? It's heavy, but not too heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Pound. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now let's see Maria, Epifania, Mauricio, and Go ahead. Who begins? Maria. Maria, Miguel, Mauricio. Mm -hmm. Miguel, hello. Vaya, Maria is ready. Who will read with Maria? Mauricio o Miguel? O de tú? Mauricio, hello. Mauricio, no lo conozco. Or we can answer in group? Sure. Mauricio, 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 Mauricio. Nunca he visto a Mauricio. Mauricio, open your camera. No está Mauricio. Only you and Miguel, Maria. Yes, no yes. creo que Mauricio no. creo que no está, ¿verdad? No contesta. Was he working with you? Eh, Miguel y eh, Ana, ¿cómo se llama la chica? Ana. Yo, a, eh, yo María. Ana Luisa, ah, pero Ana Luisa Ana. was in another group. No, no. Eh, Carla. Carla ah, es Carla, Ana. Carla. Sorry. Ahí está Sorry. Carla, la vi que se había descubierto. Yes. Vaya, go ahead. Begin, begin, begin. Okay, good morning, Carla. I I want to send uh, some documents for my mother to Santa Tecla. How much is the cost for send some documents? It's twenty dollars per pound. Mm, okay, it's only one pound. I need to send. Um, when my mother received the documents, if I send it today, when she received. 
Repeat, please. If I send the documents today, when my mother received? In three days. Ah, this okay. Give me the your tracking number, please. Okay, um, your tracking number is two one one five three three two five two two. Okay. I will send today. Um, so my mother received on June. Fifth. Four. Yeah. Or five. If we count. Uh -huh. Today is night. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, we can we can count about okay, number four, right? June four. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You see, very good. Vaya, a ver, a ver, a ver. I'm cheering because we're moving, but I want to cheer something here. Okay. Okay. So, chipping address, and I have a reminder for you. Remember, remember that the platform unit one has to be complete by tomorrow, June the second, right? So I was checking, some of you already finished, uh, but there are people who have not started yet. So remember by tomorrow before 10.30, because I'm not going to wait up to midnight for you, okay? As soon as I finish the class, I collect the, the, the last grades. And by Saturday, when they check, it is complete. And the thing is that if your space is empty, I write zero. Yeah? I cannot wait until midnight for it to grade. And I cannot check on Saturday. On Saturday, I'm working in another place. And they check this platform at 8 p.m. at 8 a.m. Saturday. Right? So remember, this has to be complete by tomorrow. I want to congratulate the people who have worked, right? That I still have Abner Adoni, Alexa, eh, Andrei, Carla Milena, Miguel Angel, Nancy, eh, Oscar. Have no, don't nothing, 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 nothing. Okay? Tienen zero. Y today is class number four. That means that you should have at least 60%, right? Your platform cannot be empty by this time. That means that you have not entered. Remember that the first day of class, we checked the platform and we checked that you could enter. Hasta entraron el primer día, me aseguraron que podían entrar y que no tenían problema de plataforma. Por favor, trabajen y pónganse al día. Dígame, Úrsula. I'm working in the platform. Sí, los que he mencionado son los que no han entrado y no han hecho nada. Ah, okay. Okay. And I have a question about platform. And there Teacher. are some, some videos in the platform. Uh -huh. But I can see the, the platform only plays the same video. Ah, uh, no, no. The video that you see there in the platform is the video of the class. 
you see the video only if you have a question related to the previous class and you want to see the explanation again. Okay. If no, no, it's not necessary. Okay, that, thank you. For example, imagine that one day you are absent. Okay. If you are absent one day, you can go see the video and then do the homework. Ah, if you are in class, okay. no problem, because that is the video of the, the of the class. Por eso es que usted ve que algunos todavía no están actualizados. Por ejemplo, okay. el martes les apareció el de lunes, el miércoles uh -huh. el de martes, y así vamos. De mañana les aparece el de ahora, y el sábado les aparece el de mañana. Entonces, por eso si usted se fija más allá, ya cuando usted llega a la, ¿qué? A la clase... Seis, por decir algo, bueno, las cinco, que no está tan allá. Eh, ahí hay un video, solo para mostrar que ahí va a estar el video de la clase, solo para abrir el espacio nada más en la plataforma. Y es el mismo que está hasta el final, porque ese es el video que va siendo reemplazado con el video de cada clase. Pero si usted estuvo en la clase, no necesita ver, a menos okay. que tenga alguna duda sobre la clase anterior y quiere ver el video de una. Quiere repasar. Sí, de lo contrario, no es el... Pero sí la tarea sí es importante que la vayan trabajando. ¿Quién me dijo teacher por allí? Miguel. Sí, sí, sí yo teacher. Eh, yo no, no, no he entrado a la plataforma porque no sabía que había plataforma. Es primera vez que recibo... Miguelito, en, en, el que Uber, recibo el que, recibo en, que recibo en línea... Eh, uh -huh. Siempre estuve, siempre estuve eh, presencial. Uno, dos y tres, presencial, sí. Ah, vaya. El lunes le di instrucciones de plataforma. Teacher. El lunes. Sí. Sí. Y se lo dije en español, sí, sí estuvo. El lunes sí, le di estuve. instrucciones de plataforma, le dije en revisen las credenciales que les han mandado, métanse. Es más. Métase a las credenciales que le han mandado de plataforma. Necesito ver que todos pueden entrar, los que no me han entrado todavía, porque eh, no me van a decir hasta mañana que la cuenta eh, todavía no ha sido, eh, que no funciona, cuando ya mañana tendría que estar completada la unidad 1. ¿Quién más dijo teacher por ahí? Teacher, yo le comenté que también yo cuando entré a la plataforma me, me tiraba la tarea 16 o 26 o 35, me tiraba a mí las tareas. No. Entré en dudas. Eso lo ingresé el día de ahora. Okay. Ya no ya no podía continuar hasta las 3, lo había dejado yo, pero de cuando quise ingresar ahora otra vez a la plataforma, ya me tiraba la tarea 16. Compártame si pantalla, no, Arely. Hola. Compa compártame pantalla. Ahorita. Porque acuérdense que la plataforma usted la va avanzando, pero ahí lo que usted tiene que hacer es escoger la unidad en la que usted va trabajando, ¿verdad? Y, Ajá, y escoger sí. de la unidad 1, por ejemplo, tiene tareas 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Me extraña que le aparezca tarea 35, 36. ¿Por qué no son más que 20 días? Y si solo tienen 20 días de clase, significa que solo tienen 20 tareas. ¿verdad? Pero le comento, es que no sé, quizás me está dando problemas a mí la plataforma, pero le quería consultar eso Vaya, el día de ahora. Este, métase a la plataforma, Arely, y compártame pantalla. Vamos a ver qué es lo que sucede ahí para poderlo reportar y, y que me entiendan qué es lo que les estoy diciendo. Está bien, no permítame. más que no me han trabajado. Fíjense que a mí me asusta cuando tengo demasiada gente que no ha entrado a la plataforma. Tengo uno, dos, tres, cuatro... Siete. Siete. Eso es demasiado. ¿Verdad? Eh, Miguelito, entre por favor. Necesito ver que no tiene problemas con la plataforma usted. Arely. I finished teacher de Unit One. Nancy. Nancy, ¿o quién me está hablando? Nancy. Nancy, yes. Ah. <ríe> 
Sí, como que, hoy lo buscas, pero no veo quién. Sí, ya, ya terminé, ahorita. Vamos a ver, Nancy, ya vamos a, a, a refresh. Ah, va, ok, con sí, Nancy, estamos felices. Pues así que también fácil son para hacerlas riéndose. Eh, López, Carla Milena, Carleta, Carleta. Hello, teacher. Ahorita las estoy haciendo. Vaya, por Carlita, porque yo ahí voy a estar molestando si no me terminan cuando tiene que ser. A ver, este, Arely, me quedé esperando que me iba a compartir pantalla para ver cuál es su problema. Sí, ingresando estoy, teacher. Es que está muy lento, tengo el Inter ahorita. Ah, ya veo. Vaya, les voy a compartir yo. Ahorita me voy al, al curso. Estoy, estoy en el modo que anda guachando gente. Pero me voy ahorita. Vaya, cheque. Eh, recuerden que cuando ustedes entran, esto es para los nuevos, ¿verdad? Los que tienen problemas con plataforma ahorita. Cuando usted entra, cae acá. Entonces, si usted lo que va a trabajar en la unidad 1, se ubica acá. ¿sí? Se le va a desplegar toda la unidad 1, le da clic aquí encima. Y le, le va a aparecer esto. Esto es lo que comentaba aquí en Marina Ochoa. Que me decía Úrsula, teacher, ahí hay videos. Sí, estos son los videos de la clase. Mira, ahí está el video de la clase, de todas las clases. Vaya, por ejemplo, esta es la clase número 4. Y en la clase número 5 usted siempre va a ver este video, que es lo que Úrsula comentaba. Porque este video lo que está haciendo es guardando el espacio del video de la clase. Entonces, cuando, eh, por ejemplo, mañana... Mañana usted aquí va a poder ver el video de la clase de ahora. Y pasado mañana, ya el sábado, ya va a ver el video, los videos de toda la semana, desde el lunes hasta el viernes. Este video que usted está aquí, que está viendo aquí ahorita, ese video es reemplazado por el video de la clase de cada día. ¿Verdad? Aquí está el de la clase 1. Si tiene dudas sobre la clase 1, puede ir a ver el video. O si tiene sobre la clase 2, antes de hacer la tarea, a ver, en caso de que usted estuvo de oyente y, y no podía trabajar, o sea, no, no podía estar 100% porque estaba terminando algo. Como por ejemplo, la gente que les tocó corte y el día de ayer y antier estuvieron bien materiales, se pueden venir a ver las la clases estas, ¿verdad? Antes de hacer la tarea. Eso es, eh, la idea de este video acá es que usted pueda venir y reforzar el tema que se trató. O si usted estuvo en clase, pero le quedó alguna duda, lo puede venir a ver. O si no estuvo, ¿verdad? No puede venir a ver. O si estuvo conectado, pues no trabajando, igual puede venir a ver. Ahora, acá, Miguel Ángel, cuando uh -huh. usted entra, ¿verdad? ¿Se fijó dónde le di? Sí, ok, hasta allí logré, hasta allí logró entrar. Vaya, acá le dio clic, vaya, acuerde, vamos otra vez. Cuando usted entra, entra aquí, le da clic aquí encima donde dice Unit One. Correcto. Se desplega la plataforma, Arely, Arely, Arely. Hola. Vaya, fíjese Hola. lo que estoy haciendo. Ahorita. Cuando usted entra, entra acá. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Vaya, le da clic, como estamos en la Unit One, le va a dar clic aquí. A esto. Porque si le da clic encima de sección 1, solo se esconde. No le da nada. Ah. Le da clic aquí encima. Ajá. Para que se despliegue esto. Una vez desplegado, las tareas son estas cositas que ven con lapicito. Ah, estas okay. son las tareas. Ok. okay. Vaya, usted le da clic acá, ve la tarea número uno, trabaja la tarea número uno. ¿Se acuerdan que estuvimos hablando de cuánto dan no cuánto? Cuando termina, usted le da enviar. Ok. 
Igual se van a la tarea número dos, no es necesario que vean el video, a menos que quiera reforzar algo. Se va a la tarea dos y lo mismo, solo son cinco preguntitas, también fáciles de lo que vimos en clase. En un, dos, tres minutos hace cada uno, exagerando, ¿no? porque yo creo que como en uno y medio, lo mucho. Entonces se viene a hacer la otra de Ken and Kent que vimos ayer. Y ahora se viene a hacer la de hoy que estamos eh, hablando y ya vamos a trabajar más con el fecho, ¿verdad? Y así, ya para mañana nos venimos. ¿Verdad? Ok. Cheque. Me voy a regresar a curso porque le voy a explicar lo que sucede ya la próxima semana. O sea, hoy. Ya para mañana usted tiene que tener terminada la unidad 1, completita. Ahora, para la otra semana, si se fija, miren, le da clic encima de la section 2 y se van a desplegar las cinco tareas de la unidad 2, pero después hay una que dice midterm. Después de que usted hace, le da clic acá y aquí tiene todas las tareas de la unidad 5. ¿verdad? Pero si usted ya terminó las tareas de la unidad 5, recuerde que para el viernes de la próxima semana usted tiene que trabajar el examen de medio curso. O sea, no se me vaya a tener la otra semana. Porque la próxima semana tienen más trabajo. O sea, tienen las cinco tareitas y tienen también el examen que es como que usted tuviera cuatro tareas más. Porque el examen tiene cuatro partes. Entonces, es como que usted tuviera el doble de tareas. Y cheque una cosa, que el examen vale mucho más que las tareas, ¿verdad? Usted va cumpliendo prácticamente el 50% de su nota es con las tareas, 25 con el examen de medio curso y el otro 25 el examen final. Entonces, significa que si usted no me trabaja el examen de medio curso o no me trabaja el final, no alcanza ni el 80%. Oye, así es que pónganse las pilas ahí para ir viendo. Aquí puede ver usted su progreso. ¿no? Después. ¿cómo? Pero a mí no, no me abre las tareas, teacher. ¿Mm? Estoy intentando. Va, dele acá encima. Dele acá. Le da clic en el lapicito y se tiene que desplegar la tarea. Ok, ahora sí, gracias. Ah. Thank you. Aquí le van a ir dando clic al lapicito, al lapicito, y mire, va cambiando tarea 2, tarea 3, tarea 4, tarea 5. Y con el examen pasa igual, ¿verdad? Parte 1, parte 2, parte 3. Pero tienen que darle cabal al lapicito. O oh, si no, pues, pa, pues ir con siguiente, siguiente. Yo me prefiero irme con el lápiz. Pues, si me voy directo a lo que quiero. ¿Verdad? Así okay, está. Perfecto. Está Thank fácil. You. Está bien fácil. Sí. Eh, es para hacer, te... para hacer la tenemos, a, Hasta mañana tenemos esto, ¿verdad? Sí. Mañana, para, hasta mañana tiene que estar completa la unidad 1. Ok. Perfecto. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Mauricio. Mauricio, 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 ¿qué es lo que me cuenta usted por aquí? Vale, recuerden, si tienen algún problema con plataforma, me escriben, ¿verdad? Para que así podamos ver. ¿Qué sucede? Mauricio, hoy sí, Mauricio, lo veo completo. Sí, está completo con la unidad 1 y ya avanzada la unidad 2. Muy bien. Adoni, Alexa, André, Miguel Ángel, Oscar, Humberto y solamente. ¿Verdad? Ya estamos. Arely, vamos a ver. Arely. Arely logró entrar a la plataforma para que me cuente cuál es su problema. Hoy sí, Ticha, ya pude entrar, ya seguí las indicaciones que te estaba diciendo. Va, perfecto. 
Entonces sí, yo puedo ver las tareas normal, porque al principio cuando me quería hacerlo al mediodía me salía todo de esos números que le detallé de tareas de 16 en adelante, ¿no? me salía, no podía regresar porque me lo impedía. Sí, pero es que es más fácil meterse así por cada unidad, fíjense, porque Eso así sí. no lo pierde, ¿verdad? Es mejor meterse Ajá. así dándole clic a cada unidad y entrando de una en una en vez de irle dando clic a la, a la flechita que se puede alocar, ¿verdad? Sí, hora. quizás por esa razón, quizás se alocó un poco, quizás en el momento cuando estaba haciendo la tarea, un solo se me sí. disparó hasta, hasta, se me adelantó mucho, pues. Sí, sí, eso, eso puede ser. Entonces, no, mejor métase sí, unidad por unidad, mucho más fácil. Oye, Está ahí, bien. Les, ahí les dejo el dato para que vean que es, está fácil. But, uh, pues, vaya, yo tomo su palabra, los que me están escribiendo ahí comprometiéndose. Muy bien. Vaya, check. Talking about the future. Future. In this, in this structure, check. When we talk about the, the, the be going to, y cheque que la structure es be going to, ¿verdad? No solo going to. A very common mistake with this structure is that when we're making the affirmative, we tend to forget the verb to be. But that is something that we cannot forget. Oy. So it has to take the verb to be. I am going to give you the information. The airline is going to transport the shipping. Ya, ya saben que es un shipping, ¿verdad? Your packages are going to arrive tomorrow. Where is the package going to arrive? Who is going to deliver it? That is affirmative and questions, right? So where is the package going to arrive? Is the package going to arrive tomorrow? Probably it is going to arrive tomorrow. In negative, I'm going to use the verb to be, I'm not. Remember that the form of the verb to be will vary depending on the subject that you use. I am. The airline is it, ¿verdad? So we say is. Your packages is plural, so that is like similar to they. And, ay, qué bonita es, pero, okay. okay, the packages are, so they are, where is, como packages uno, we are going to use it. And who's going to deliver? Who is, como que usted dijera, he or she. That's why we use is. Con who siempre va a usar is. Okay? So, you have to be very careful with the form of the verb to be that you need to use. And in case of negative, we include not. Uh, when you're using I, you say, I'm not. There is no other contraction. But if you're going to use he, she, it, you can say, is not, he's not, or he isn't, right? In negative, he isn't going to transport the chicken. Your packages are not going to arrive or aren't going to arrive. Okay, that's basically the structure to follow when we use a uh, be going to. Now, when do we use it? See, we use going to when we know that something is going to happen. Yes? For example, if I know that something is going to happen, For example, when the person was telling you, your package will arrive on Monday. Yes? Or your mother will receive your package on Monday. Here, we know that something is going to happen, right? We're basing on evidence. These are predictions based on evidence. For example, when you see it is very dark, you say, we really look at those clouds. It's going to rain, right? That's making predictions using going to. It's going to rain. She's pregnant. She's going to have a baby. 
I can see it, right? It's obvious. It's obvious and I cannot change it. Now, we also use a, this structure when we're talking about the future, right? Talking about future. I say, I'm going to play handball. So remember, making predictions, right? We use it when making predictions. We use it also when talking about the future. I'm going to play handball. You're going to play handball. I want you here to see the structure of the verb to be in your sentence, verdad? What is the structure of the verb to be in your sentence? Mm -hmm. So the rest of the sentence continues on the same pace that what we are changing is the verb to be. Mm -hmm. You are going to, he's going to, she's going to, it is going to, and we're going to. Now, in negative, remember, we say, I'm not, you're not, he's not, she's not, it's not, and we're not. I'm not going to eat lunch. You're not going to exercise today. He's not going to run in the stadium. She's not going to cook dinner. It's not going to take a shower. We are not going to take, we're not going to go to the beach this weekend. Okay? These are sentences about the future in negative. Now, look at these other examples. He's going to swim in the pool all day. Is he going to swim in the pool? When we make the question, we just change the position of the verb to be, right? He's going to swim in the pool. Is he going to swim in the pool? Is she going to sleep early? Yeah. What changes is the order of the words, right? Any question here? Talking about future, what are you going to do tomorrow? You say, well, I'm going to go to work. You know, you are sure because tomorrow is Friday and you have to go to work, right? So you say, well, tomorrow I'm going to go to work. I'm going to get up very early and go to work. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to eat lunch with friends tomorrow. Or I'm going to have dinner with family tomorrow evening, right? Before the class. <laughs> or you say, well, on Saturday, I'm going to go to the beach. Plans, right? Plans. And you know what you're going to do, right? So you are very sure that you will do that. Is she going to sleep early tonight? Yes, she is. Or you say, mm -mm. no, she isn't. Or you can give me a complete sentence, right? A complete answer. Yes, she is going to sleep early tonight. She's very tired. Is she going to sleep early tonight? Yes, she is going to sleep early tonight. She's very tired. No, she isn't going to sleep early tonight. She has to finish a report. Right, so remember, you can give a long answer or you can give a short answer, depending on what you need. Any question here? Question? No? No. Nice. Now, uh, remember at the beginning of the year, we make us uh, a couple of things that we write, right? And you say, this year, I'm going to save money. This year, I'm going to, mm, I'm going to lose weight. Those are the intentions, right? Future intentions 
that we have at the beginning of the year, right? When we use going to, or we use going to, when we have the intention to do something before we speak. We have already made a decision before speaking. For example, here, look at this example. John has won the lottery. He says he's going to buy a porch or he's going to buy a, a Hyundai, right? We go, we're not going to paint our bedroom tomorrow. So I already decided that tomorrow, no. Um, we're not going to paint the bedroom tomorrow. When are you going to go on holiday? Oh, well, I'm going to go on holiday in August. Not before, right? In August. And remember uh, what I was telling you at the beginning, right? In when you have a, the intention to do something, you say, I'm going to save money. I'm going to spend more time with my friends. Right? So those are intentions. They may happen or not, but you have the intention to do it, right? Another case, remember we were talking at the beginning uh, also uh, talking about predictions. We use, pred uh, we make predictions using going to when we are based on evidence. Yeah. Evidence. It's very dark. Oh, the sky is very dark. It's going to rain. When you listen to the birds singing or you or you see the 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 little birds, how do you call those black little birds that are flying around? And you say, Oh look, it's Alas. I don't remember the name. But then you say, oh, it's going to rain. Look at the birds flying around, right? It's going to rain. So there are some things that make us predict that it's going to rain or that's going to snow. Well, no, no snow here, right? It's 8.30, you're going to miss your train. You're going to miss your bus. The bus passes at 8.30 and it's 8.30 right now. Oh, oh, you're going to miss your bus, right? You're basing on the evidence. I crashed the company's car. Oh, my boss isn't going to be happy. That's a prediction. I know. I know that he's not going to be happy, right? Now, look at this. Here we have a couple of examples. He's going to swim in the pool all day. This is a future plan, right? Talking about the future. Is he going to swim in the pool all day? The same, future. Is she going to sleep early tonight? Hmm? What is it? Proof. Is future or prediction? Ah, future, right? Are they going to go out tonight? So making questions. Remember what we said? When we make a question, we put the verb to be at the beginning. Is she going to work tomorrow? Are they going to be there? Let's see. Let's see. Is she going to help us? Is he going to go to university? Are they going to play soccer tomorrow? Are they going to paint their house tomorrow? So we're going, we're asking questions about somebody's future, right? Are we going to be in class tomorrow? Future. Yeah, future. And we hope so, right? We hope to be in class tomorrow. So you say, yeah, we are going to be in class tomorrow. Now look at these sentences. I'm going to leave you. Oh no, we have no time. But I'm going to give you these sentences. 
for homework. Teacher. So, you complete the sentences, and tomorrow at the moment of checking, the previous class, we're going to check the homework. Let me stop sharing here. Okay, remember, uh, you will decide, right? You will decide what is the form of the verb to be that you need to use to complete the sentences. Right, let's post in the instructions so you don't forget. So use the best form of the verb to be to complete the sentences. So for example, we are going to be Serrada to the next one. Right? Okay. Any questions about the homework? Questions. No questions. Hmm? Okay. Vamos a ver. Ahí les pegué en el chat. Muy bien. A ver, eh, today, eh, according to, to the list, Alexa. Alexa, Alexa, Alexa. Present teacher. Me tocaba quedarse ayer, pero se me fugó. ¿Se puede quedar hoy? Eh, teacher, no sé si puede para mañana, es que ahorita tengo enfermito el niño y le acaba de dar un ataque de tos, necesito ah, verlo. <risa> Ana Luisa. O un volunteer. Un volunteer que se quiere quedar hoy. Y ya no se queda cuando le toque. Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Instead of Alexa. Okay. Vamos a ver. Say present, please. Tell me present. Admir Adoni. Alexa. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa present. A la one, a la two. Present, Alexa. Okay. Ana Luisa, hello. Present. Andre, Angie, 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 Arely. Present teacher. Erling Melquisede, con lluvia Erling. Sí, Tom, no sé si escuchó a mí. You hear? Sí, Andre, sí, ya lo vi que por ahí anda. Y Erling. I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> es que no lo miraba. Bye. Okay. Eh, Irma. Present teacher. Carla Milena. Present teacher. María Estefanía. Epifanía, ya le están viendo. Present Marta. teacher. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio. I'm here, teacher. El Angel. Nancy. Nancy. Present. Okay. Oscar. Oscar Oscar. Present teacher. Silvia Evelyn. Present teacher. Ursula. Present Ophelia. teacher. Okay. Nice. I will see you tomorrow. See you. See you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, night. Bye, bye. Good night. Take care.